Okay, we're going to the Lamy Swimming Hole, which I checked on Google. Can't find any references to it. Can't find any photographs of it. Um, pretty amazed because it was a real hot spot back in the 70s. All the hippies used to go there for skinny dipping and stuff. So um, anyway, I'm going to drive over there and take a look at it and get some photos for you. We'll post them on Google. Okay, and uh, this is like Klein's Corners, I guess, or Moriarty. I don't think I am in Klein's Corners. Not sure. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's 41. We're going to take 41 west from here. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit from that cloud over there, but it looks like sunny skies ahead. And um, the Lamy watering hole should be approximately 33, 35 miles in this direction, I think. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is Lamy, New Mexico. The Lamy train station is right here. And the legal tender bar and saloon is over here great place to eat or at least it used to be I think it's under new ownership now uh, and it's reopened uh, to uh, make all the locals really happy because you know everybody always raves about the place uh, always used to love coming out here to eat there anyway I've been staying just ahead of that rainstorm like that was cool <laughs> looks like uh, <clears throat> it's trying to catch up with me though those clouds are looming over there on the horizon and uh, that right there over there is that that hill that you're looking at is actually where they quarried the stone for <clears throat> the St. Francis Cathedral uh, in downtown Santa Fe the historic St. Francis Cathedral, they quarried all the stone up there, this unique kind of yellowish sandstone, and, um, you know, took it by horse and wagon from here to Santa Fe and uh, used it to construct the cathedral. Interesting little historical note there for you. And here's the Santa Fe County Lamy Park. Looks like uh, some people are proud that they're putting tax dollars to work here. There's a better view of the hill where the stones were quarried for the cathedral. And uh, we're just taking a quick little tour of the park here while I'm driving by. This is uh, it. Doesn't look like it gets used much. The, <laughs> the uh, Parking lot is basically overgrown with weeds and empty. You can tell I'm the first person to drive down here in a very long time. So there's your tax dollars at work. <laughs> okay, well, maybe there's, there's a historical marker here and I thought I'd just read it to you since I'm here. Uh, behind me there is the hill uh, that I was talking about just a second ago. The uh, where they quarried the stuff. And uh, so I've looked all around here. This is where uh, the Lamy swimming hole used to be down the road here, just another couple miles in that direction. I drove down there and I checked all the bridges where it could be, because it was just to the right of the highway uh, at one of those bridges, and it was gone. And uh, that makes sense to me because someone told me that it had been dynamited by the rancher who owned the property or whatever, and uh, you know, that <coughs> that would make sense. Um, but uh, yeah, I couldn't even tell exactly which bridge it was because the landscape looks so different, and the water, the water, uh, the swimming hole is completely gone. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at this sign. Then. So here we go. The Galisteo Basin is a lowland of 730 square miles that has been continuously occupied since the Archaic period. It is bounded by the Sangre de Cristo Mountains on the north, Glorieta Mesa on the east, the San Pedro Mountains on the south, and La Bajada Escarpment and the Rio Grande on the west. 
Due to its location between mountain ranges, the basin serves as an important transportation route between the Rio Grande Valley and Great Plains. Of the sign, the Southern Rockies. The foothills and higher peaks to the north are part of the Southern Rocky Mountains, which extend from southern Wyoming through Colorado and New Mexico. The Sangre de Cristo Mountains, Spanish for Blood of Christ, trend from Salida, Colorado, in the north of Santa Fe, uh, from Salida, Colorado, in the north, to Santa Fe in the south. The highest peak in New Mexico is Wheeler Peak, northeast of Taos, at 13,167 feet in elevation. There's this uh, really nice uh, rainstorm going on over there. Uh, that was the one that was kind of chasing me as I was driving north. Um, out of Moriarty. Really a beautiful day out here today. And let's get back on the road.